Cookies. I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to make these cupcakes. That is my grandmother's recipe from the Depression. Like I said in my email. But I wanted to point out that Natasha is over here painting the little beets for the beet crowns using some beet juice. So it's just pouring some of that water out from the can and simply using it as a paint and then letting it dry. Thanks, Natasha. So this recipe is super easy. You want to sift it though. The easiest way I find to sift is to just use a little colander and do it right into the bowl. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of sugar. Shake it till it sifts and your child can help with this. If they keep it low and in the bowl, they can do the sifting and the measuring. One cup of sugar, a third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of, and that also gets sifted, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So these are really easy. You can get them in the oven super fast. Okay, and then once those have all gone through the sifter, you just stir it up till they're all mixed. Then you're going to pour your wet ingredients into the dry. So I've already taken the juice from the beet can and added it to my liquid measuring cup along with the half a cup of canola. So you want, the original recipe is one cup of cold water. So you can either replace all of the water with the beet juice or half of it. And then you put the canola right in there with it into the liquid measuring cup. And then you're going to add your vanilla right in there. So two teaspoons of vanilla. I have literally made this cake batter for cupcakes or cake hundreds of times over the years. These are the ones that I make all the time when we celebrate birthdays. So I could do this in my sleep. The only thing we're doing differently today because of our beet club celebration is we're adding this beet juice. So you mix that up, pour it in. Ooh, it's kind of cool to see that color. And then it'll be a nice way to have a little bit of that beet flavor without it being too overpowering for your child. And you won't even really see it. By the time this bakes up, even though it looks purplish right now, it's really still going to be more of a, just like a chocolate cupcake look to it. So, after you mix this together, the cool part is adding the vinegar. That's going to react with that baking soda and create those air pockets that's going to enable the cake batter to rise in lieu of eggs. That's why this is called depression cake because it was created and I've forgotten the tablespoon. I always forget one thing when I'm doing these videos. Can you pause? Are we back? Yes. Okay, so now I've got my tablespoon, two tablespoons of vinegar. And that's going to have that chemical reaction with the baking soda and make it fizz and react. I mean, not super, but just a little bit. You can see it's just kind of making that fizzy lookingness in that batter. And you want to just kind of keep stirring until that fizziness has gone down. And then that's it. It's ready to go. You pour it in your cupcake papers and you bake at 375 for 25 minutes. Oh, and then this reminds me. So when your child is done decorating it, however they choose to do so, and it's on there, you're going to want to extend. This will be too small. You're going to want to extend this crown for your child for it to wrap around their head. Anyway, side note there. And then for buttercream, I also add a little bit of that beet juice. And so I just do some simple baking powder, milk or almond milk, butter or margarine, and a little bit of vanilla. Whip it up in a mixer, stand mixer with a hand mixer. 
you got your buttercream and you can take a little bit of that beet juice from the can and then you just pour it right in um, like a tablespoon of it and it'll make your buttercream be a nice beet color and then you'll have that on top of your cupcakes and I know it's going to be 9.30 tomorrow morning when we're doing our beet club celebration but maybe they can have a bite and then they can eat it later okay that'd be great if we can celebrate together even if they don't have cupcakes tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.